Hello peeps! What do we have for you today? Oh look, it's more Lego and it's more Lego Avengers. This time it's Captain America, the Red Skull and the Generic Hydra Henchman. We'll call this one Jim. Uh, with a comic adventure included, apparently. That'll be another cheap comic book, which I'm willing to bet will be exactly the same as the last one. So what have you got? We've got what looks like the Hiss Tank from Cobra, redecorated and pimped out a bit differently, uh, with Red Skull driving it, with some sort of crystal thing there that's probably referencing the first Captain America movie. We've got Jim back here. We've got Captain America on a bike throwing his shield, and a m missile flying off into the air. We've got the Hulk. Thor and Cap in the top right hand corner. Uh, let's see, Captain America vs Hydra. Yes, they are actually giving you a little bit of a name here. So, this looks like it's trying to recreate a scene that never happened in the first Captain America movie. I haven't seen the second Avengers movie yet. Uh, obviously, this doesn't look like it's got anything to do with it. I haven't heard anything at all in regards to the movie other than all the stuff about Josh Whedon leaving Twitter, which he says has nothing to do with feminists. But unless I've completely missed the mark, the Age of Ultron is supposed to be about Ultron, not the Red Skull. The Red Skull isn't supposed to be coming up anytime soon. Let's just take a quick look around the box just to show you. Oh, nice promotional artwork there. More traditional Marvel stuff rather than trying to recreate. You'll have to excuse me, I've left my window open so I'm going to get background noise but I need the fresh air. But just looking at that picture of the Red Skull there, doesn't he look a bit like Darth Maul with less face paint? So let's see what we've got here, just a little bit of action and adventure with a... Well, not any action and adventure, it's just a sort of demonstration of what it can do. And apparently the Red Skull is quite capable of jumping out on his own and getting punched out, much like Hitler did by Captain America. Although I think it was actually just an actor standing in for Hitler who got punched repeatedly. I hope we got Hazard pay for that, but... Uh, after all, Captain America is supposed to have the strength of at least ten men, according to some people. Well, let's see what happens when we try to open this thing up. Oh, look, it's actually got the good old-fashioned traditional thumb things. And that, of course, damages some of the pictures there, but you've got various Lego Marvel-related characters, such as uh, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Iron Man and so on, but the camera doesn't want to focus on it. I'll just take my word for it, they're there. Yeah, that's better. You can see them now, can't you? All right, how many bags do we think this is going to be? I'm going to guess just the one bag, because it just looks like it's one piece. No, it's two bags. All right, one bag, two bag. Various bits of the packaging that came loose. Ooh, it looks like it's a different comic. And the instructions. Right. Well, I shall get on with uh, getting this built, and then I'll let you know what it looks like. So, jim cut in three, two, one, and we're back. Just like that. Ah, uh, so we have three figures. Hydra Jim, the Red Skull, Captain America, and a bike for the cap to ride and store a shield on. And then this Hydra modified World War II vehicle. Um, radio tenders on the back. Launchable missiles either side, if you can master that little, aha, technical making them flick away like that, which I don't really have down perfectly, and it's a bit awkward to do it that way. Maybe if I do it this way. Shall we see? One, two, three. Yeah, that works. That works nicely. That banged off the box, which I've got just off camera here, uh, and made quite a satisfying noise. Shall we try that again? I'll just load up. Or not. One thing you can do is you can angle them to go upwards so they'll be more like mortars. I think we'll give it a try like that, mortar style. Mm -hmm. Yep, I like that. And then we've got the bike. Just a fairly standard basic bike frame, but then the rest is all custom to reflect the bikes of the time. Which looks quite nice, really. Um, one thing I would have liked is if they'd made the lamp at the front more of a sort of flat piece rather than a standard, a standard pegged piece again. That would have looked a bit more motorbike-esque to my eyes here. Uh, we've got Jim. Hydra Jim. Let's just see if we can zoom in a bit on him. Will we get the camera to focus? There we go. So then we have Hydra Jim. Just a standard 
Lego piece that's been repurposed to look much more like the comic book versions of the uh, of the characters rather than what you see in the movies and on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You'll see the massive H that they've got in the back of the head. That's not a Red Dwarf reference, that's just, of course, Hydra. Hail Hydra! We are not surrendering! We're simply saying, Hail Hydra! And then we've got Red Skull. My god, he looks fierce, but he has, like all movie Nazis, a very snazzy sense of dress and very good styling. Doesn't extend to his hair because, of course, he doesn't have one. If there's one thing I do feel all these pieces are missing, it's just something else to put on the head. It's a good likeness of Captain America. They've gone through several iterations of the uh, of the uniform, the costume, whatever you want to call it. And the shield looks fairly decent as well. The way he holds it is more like a buckler where the it basically drops it in the centre, so that makes it a lot easier for him to put, use it to punch and block and deflect. Um, not necessarily to throw that way, but of course usually they have Steve Rogers just grab it by the edge and then fling it that way. It's a very good likeness, but again, I just feel that like there could be something more, just a little something extra just to add on to, uh, on to the top of the heads to basically just fill things out a bit more for them. So let's just take a look at the actual vehicle itself. You've got a full 360 rotation. You've got the launchers that are positionable here. You've got these things that don't really seem to do anything, but uh, could potentially be extra cannons or something. And it looks fairly decent. One thing I really like about it best, though, is the fact that the wheels have such a range of motion here. Each side is completely independent of the other, so if you've got rough terrain, this works perfectly. So it's quite a nice piece in its own right, even if you're not... Uh, not using it as a Hydra vs Shield type sort of thing, then the pieces themselves would go nicely with just about anything else. I mean, this would be quite a nice little classic motorbike in its own right, in its own regard. It is quite a nice, quite a handsome little piece. And of course, if you're building up a LEGO Avengers set, or if you're trying to collect any of the other Marvel superheroes, or even DC superheroes, and you want to have a square off, obviously things like this are going to be essential just to uh, give you a little bit more. Stickers, as of course, in my mind, are always optional. Uh, it comes with the number 65, a couple of Hydra logos, and there's a comic book, which I haven't looked at yet. Let's take a look at that, shall we? So, to my mind, this looks like it's a different... Uh, one altogether than what I've previously reviewed, so let's just take a look. So it opens up, you see tyre tracks, close up the shield on the back of the bike, as the captain drives through what looks like war-torn terrain, and of course you get uh, to see that he's been chased by Hydra, complete with, well that must be the cube thing from the first movie, which I completely forget what the name of it is. And look up there, is it a bird, is it a plane, no it's Thor, flying, and of course you kind of are obliged by law to make that kind of Superman type reference, but of course it's nothing to do with that. Oh look, you can blast Thor out of the sky with that, and Thor and his hammer drop just outside. What is that? AIM. Advanced Idea Mechanics. I'm pretty sure Marvel have used that in previous comic books, but I can't for the life of me recall seeing that. Anyway, anyhow, the Red School spots something gleaming off the mountainside, it's the light Come if Cap's shield so that he fires both missiles, blows the hell out of the mountain, but Cap survives because he's Captain America. And then finds Thor, defends himself against that blast, knocks the Red Skull out, knocks Jim out, rides his bike right at the, uh, right at the tank thing, and manages to beat the crap out of it quite successfully. Meanwhile, Thor comes to, comes to his senses and finds himself locked up with, uh, oh, whoever that guy is, I can't remember his name. Big brains, not much else. Ooh, let's see what else. What else? What else? Falcon comes to the rescue. Rata -ta 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 -ta. Hulk smash. Lego bricks go all over the. I like the fact that they've actually made it blatantly obvious that the pieces that have been smashed are Lego bricks. That's quite a nice bit of uh, well, quite a nice bit of self-reference, really. And then so on and so forth. It's not really, not really. Interesting enough. One of the things that it's completely missing is any dialogue. It's just going completely off the artwork alone, which is fine in itself. It's very stylized. You can tell what's going on. It's just that a little bit of 
banter would be nice to actually uh, to see here. Well, there you go. Everybody's uh, smashed all the equipment up. The bad guy has been arrested, I assume, and of course, Thor has his helmet back, which apparently got taken off him somehow, even though nobody else should be able to lift it apart from him and anybody else who is deemed worthy. Well, there you go. A comic book that's worth looking at for about five seconds and a piece of plastic Lego brick stuff that will if treated with the proper care and attention will last you your lifetime and be it will give you years and years and years of uh, Lego related pleasure You will subscribe and like and share It's fine hurt